morning, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Tucker's coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. He's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. All right, guys, remember, obey my commands at all times. All right, let's have a good clean fight. That's when you get a show. fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup, you're looking for guys to be more consistent, which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define that? Just in one area, when they get inside, for example, Joe, Every once in a while, somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden, one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. One-two combination by Tucker. Tucker. It is a seesaw battle early on here. Amazing stuff out of these two. Halfway through round number one. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. What does a fighter need to do to really build the foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn and to burn later on. Maybe something happened to them in their life. Maybe through their parents, maybe through neighbors, maybe through coaches. Somebody told them they were never gonna make it. And they go in their mind that they're going to find a way to make those people wrong. A headshot block. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Final 10 seconds of round number one. And a smart counterpunch by Tucker. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box who likes to counter punch? I want a guy coming at him, not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can oh, that's gotta hurt. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Carries that 
punch intended for the head. after absorbing that blow. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He was stunned, but now he's surviving. Nice block by bad intentions. Tensions. Ten clicks of the talk. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Beat him to the punch. Smart counter punch by Tucker. Tucker's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Tucker. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Devastating blow by bad intentions. That was not well targeted by Tucker. Big right hand by Tucker. How about that? Back to back he lands by Thunder. Tucker's out at longer range. He's 
staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing, keeping them off balance, giving them angles, fighting a smart fight. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Here we go with the fourth round. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Blocks that belt line well. Counter punch after a fine defensive effort by bad intention. Trigger that little double jab there. Boom, boom. Gets rid of that effort. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time, you want three or four. Double jab upstairs. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Final 10 seconds. Good exchange, he fires back. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. You get the sense that we have a fight in front of us that's going to be fought this way right to the bitter end, go the full distance, and be one of those fights that's greatly debated over. Well, you hope they get it the right way, but it's very important that they don't act like fans. They being judges, where they're not just watching leather be thrown from all angles. They're watching real closely to see who's landing the punches, who's landing the most clean, effective blows. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And a well-placed counter by Tucker.
one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Nice strike after catching one by Thunder. Good return fire that time. Scores with the combo to the head. seconds. Protecting his head well with his guard. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. That's a good block by bad intentions. Blocked by Tucker. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Bad attention is proving here that he can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting for. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Digging in with uppercuts. Good block there by Tucker. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, with special offensive happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. That straight right unable to connect. by Tucker. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. <laughs> Final ten seconds of the sixth round. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Excellent 
counterpunch by bad intentions. Job staying away from the danger there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. At the halfway point of round seven. by Tucker. Tucker's found the punch that will always excite a crowd, and that's that, that straight hand, that power shot. You can see it coming, and there it is. Well, he must be pretty happy that he's got an opponent that throws all wide, all round punches, because straight beats round. Tucker's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Double jab right to the face. There's no need to be on the inside. Nice block by bad intentions. Ten clicks of the talk. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. As we come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. there by bad intentions. I like that two-punch combo by Tucker. Protecting his head well with his guard. And a smart counterpunch by Tucker. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. The halfway point of round number eight. Excellent counterpunch by Tucker. Now that's a showman right there, a pure showman.
by Tucker. Block that away, it was targeted for his head. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man, completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Parries that punch intended for the head. Locks that belt line well. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. And a well-placed counter by Tucker. Well, here's the way we see it. He's down on the scorecards, has to have the knockout to win it. Yeah, and he has to understand that. You know, the main thing is he hasn't given in. You know, he's still there trying, but he's in a desperate place. So what he has to do now is look for one spot. He remembers maybe something he saw early in the night where the guy pulls out his hand down a little bit and maybe he can time him stepping out. Finish with the loop. Good defense just covering up down low. Nice block by Tucker. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice block by Tucker. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Well struck, solid combination by Tucker. On the mark, the counter punch by Tucker. There's a 
taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Thunder. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Parries that punch away. by Tucker. Turns on that exchange. Well placed counter punch by Tucker. Don't stay in one circle. Throws a counter punch there. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm gonna give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a... Oh! Tucker stunned and staggered. He went after it that time, but the power punch couldn't connect. Oh, boy, look at this. Right from the get-go, they go after one another. They remind me of my 15-year-old son going to the dinner table. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no Punch idea out, that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. Good, clean, old one-two by Tucker. Oh, what a great ability to recover. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Tucker. Defense just covering up down low. Good way.
way to protect the midsection. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. The bad intentions is basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's gotta find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind. He'll get to that no-man's land where he'll need a knockout to win. And he doesn't have that kind of power. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Counter punch by Tucker. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Counterpunch by bad intentions. Teddy, I know you swear by it, and we're seeing it right in front of us. Good fighter likes to fight on the outside, who's having a stellar night with that jab. Hey, look, if you're going to be an accountant, you better know math. You better know how to add. You're going to be a good fighter, as far as I'm concerned. You better have a good jab. by bad intentions 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war oh what a great round good block there by bad intentions Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Bad intentions. His trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Last round of an entertaining Ladies fight. Now, the judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring announcer. Well, it's been said it's like kissing your sister. It goes down as a draw. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.